Namaste to all. One common question that I get in my YouTube channel is, um, if I come and meet your Acharya Ji, will he accept me as uh, his disciple and will he give me Diksha? This question comes to me often in the last. Uh, I have started this channel, I think, around three and a half years back. And in the last three and a half years, starting from you know the initial days itself, this question often comes to me. And some of the people who are questioning this is, uh, they are very true, honest people. They want to follow Vedas. They have high respect to all uh, to Vedas and Almighty God and Sanatan Dharma, and also they have highest regards to my Acharya. So I thought of making a video because this question will be probably in your mind also, and uh, probably this video will help you. So first of all, I will really appreciate such a thought uh, arising inside you that uh, you want to meet my Acharya Ji because you know finding an Acharya who teaches us Vedas, who teaches Vedas to the public irrespective of religion, irrespective of caste etc. is extremely rare in these modern times. We know that in today's situation, at least 99% of the modern Gurus, they are money minded people, they are business people, they want to earn money. Although they show themselves as that they are detached people, they are great yogis, but we know the reality. We we see the advertisements of their organizations. So finding a true Acharya itself is a very, very rare thing today. And a pious thought arising inside your mind that you must meet such an Acharya like my Acharya is a, I would appreciate you so much. And um, it's, a, it's actually the blessings of Almighty God and your own tapasya that this thought is arising inside you. But the, the question is coming to Diksha. Meeting an Acharya itself is a very, very rare uh, thing today. But you know, getting Diksha from such an Acharya, will he give you Diksha or not? This I always reply to those people like this. Number one is, God says in the Vedas, you must do your karma. You must do your karma as per Vedas. But you must completely leave the result in my hands. So, Going and meeting an Acharya, taking effort to meet an Acharya, for example, you must be working or you may be working in a company, you are studying for uh, you know exams, you are a student, you are a grasthi. So go, taking time to go and meet an Acharya, you probably you are living in, let's say, Bangalore, you are living in Chennai, you are living in southern part of India or eastern part of India, going to my Acharya or even in Delhi, taking a bus overnight and reaching Himachal Pradesh, going to meet an Acharya, you, you have to put leave. You have to take time at least one week to 10 days to go to uh, go and meet an Acharya and come back. So this much amount of time you must spend and also you must spend money for bus tickets, etc. Itself is a very, very, uh, you know, I would say pious task. So if, if this thinking is originating in your mind, it's really a gift. I would say this is really a blessing from Almighty God. So once you go and meet the Acharya, you must request for Diksha for sure. Uh, Almighty God says in the Vedas, that request for Diksha, requesting Diksha from Acharya is our Kartavya Karma, is, uh, but giving Diksha is you must leave to Almighty God because Almighty God is manifested inside that Acharya. God resides inside Acharya. God says in Rig Veda, the place where I reside is a place where a yogi resides and the place where I reside is inside the heart of the yogi. So you get Diksha directly from Almighty God who is manifested inside the Acharya. So you can request for Diksha, but getting Diksha from Acharya is to be left to Almighty God. So if you are having that much faith in Almighty God and Vedas, you must not worry about getting the Diksha. You must worry about taking time to go to Acharya. You must worry about meeting the Acharya and you must request for Diksha. Getting the Diksha, just leave it to Almighty God. I will exp I will explain to you one of my uh, you know one of my friend known person. He lives in Bangalore. He left. Uh, he suddenly decided after seeing my videos. He understood Vedas. He understood the concept of Vedas. He listened to at least uh, I would say uh, 50, 60 pravachans of my Acharya, and he started Agnihotra. After doing Agnihotra for three months, suddenly he got a thinking inside his mind. He called me and said, "I am going to Acharya tomorrow morning." Uh, he booked a flight and he reached Acharya the next day evening and then he stayed in the ashram and then he requested for Diksha but that time my Acharya said I will give you Diksha next time. Then he came back and then my Acharya asked him to come after 6 months. After 6 months again he booked the tick by him, a ticket by himself, he went to Acharya and got Diksha. So you know he did not have, he did not had expectation that he should get Diksha but he wanted to meet the Acharya. He met the Acharya for the first time, he got many lessons from Vedas directly from my Acharya. But then my Acharya said that I will give you Diksha next time. So he did not have any doubt. 
he came back and then said to me he called me and then said i'm very happy i met the acharya but i'm sure i will go next time to get diksha he did not had any doubt again he he took one one week holiday and then he went and then next time also i will tell you it's a very interesting story next time also he was staying for four for five days four five days he requested diksha my acharya said okay i will give you i'll give you so on the day before he leaving like next day morning 8 o'clock he has to leave uh, his flight was there from uh, himachal so on the previous day night at 10 o'clock my acharya called and gave him diksha like you know he uh, he called me from the ashram also the uh, uh, will acharya give diksha or not i said you have so much shraddha do not time is only 10 o'clock do not worry my acharya is there even if you don't get diksha this time do not get doubt next time again you try because requesting diksha is your karma getting diksha is a result of karma leave it to acharya and almighty god so uh, my request to you uh, who are very sincere and honest people who want to follow vedas in life is please take time to go to acharya you must take time just don't say that i want to meet your acharya do not put conditions that if i meet your acharya don't put condition as if just book the ticket and go to acharya request for diksha because the value of diksha cannot be measured my acharya always says value of diksha is not known to anyone diksha is emanating directly from almighty god from inside the acharya because diksha is the name of almighty god in the vedas it is a secretive name which is given by acharya directly only only acharya can give you diksha nobody else can give you diksha so diksha is having highest value without diksha nobody can get salvation and diksha is the parampara of vedas vedic parampara everybody will get diksha in the vedic parampara but when we will get diksha for example when we read upanishad like uh, i think upamanyu story he got diksha after several years of the uh, seva to acharya aruni upamanyu upamanyu story was a great inspiration that he never expected diksha from acharya he went to acharya acharya said i will not give you diksha acharya says i will not give you diksha there are cows in my ashram right you make the cows you multi you make sure that the cows become thousand in numbers by every day service to the cow so he does continuous seva to the cows for the so uh, several years after so many years of tapasya seva to uh, the gau mata he gets mantra diksha from the acharya so there is no expectation from a true disciple if you are true disciple a honest disciple and you are have you are lover of vedas just go to acharya and request for diksha and once you get the diksha only your work starts after getting diksha i know many people after getting diksha they have left name job after getting diksha the value of diksha inside them has gone down because you know getting diksha is very very important many people i know they have uh, you know they have uh, called me several times i want to get diksha i am very very eager to get diksha but after getting diksha like 2 years 3 years have passed i ask them okay are you doing name job every day yeah only 5 minutes i do but i do only for 5 minutes no time etc so what is the value of getting diksha from a yogi after getting diksha you don't do name job first of all before going to acharya my request to you is start agni hotra start agni hotra with gayatri mantra do agni hotra for let's say 6 months uh, go through his uh, various books go through his vedamandir.com read all his articles try to understand whether my acharya is the right acharya for you number 1 number 2 after that you have decided like my friend decided yes this is the only acharya he took the flight from bangalore to himachal he went two times after that he got the diksha so similarly then plan your travel go to acharya's ashram acharya's ashram address is there in the website vedamandir.com you can also uh, ask me i can reply to you go to acharya's ashram and request and meet the acharya participate in the yajna listen to the vedas then you request for diksha if acharya gives you diksha nothing like it after the diksha come back and then every day practice the diksha mantra every day without fail and then after getting diksha every time at least twice or thrice a year you must get contact with acharya physically that means you must go to ashram listen do yajna listen vedas from acharya and then try to serve the acharya whenever you go there so these things is the vedic parampara you must do and uh, last but not least before uh, you know going to acharya if you do not if if you are like you are seeing this video for the first time you have come to this channel aha this channel is very good the, there are so many you know vedic concepts so this, i just go to acharya and take diksha and come back don't do that unless in other ways you build a kind of worship you start worshiping almighty god with gayatri mantra jap and then name uh, om jap and then everyday agni hotra 
without doing at least for some months do not go to acharya because you will not understand the basics of vedas read his books many people after ha- after having done thorough research by reading my acharya's books after after that if they have they have come to our uh, my acharya's ashram they have taken diksha and they are extremely uh, i would say uh, the jigyasu they are true aspirants i know many people like that you must also be- try to become like that just taking diksha is is one thing but following the diksha is the most important uh, you know i would say aim of our life so this is these two things i want to tell you because i know you know there are some, like some uh, one person i know i will not take the name one person in tamil nadu she cannot understand english she cannot understand hindi but she understood my tamil videos she started doing agnihotra every day after doing gayatri agnihotra for some time she told me okay i want to do agnihotra the full complete procedure please send me the how please tell me how to do then i sent her the audio uh, and then i sent her the procedure in tamil then she started doing it after doing it for one year then she told she convinced her husband her husband said i i'll not follow this uh, if you uh, she convinced her husband she may, she saved money for one year for booking the ticket after that she went to my acharya and then i also my wife also went me and my wife went with her and then she got the diksha she does every day name jap i am very happy for the, that kind of such kind of people so if you are true followers then you will definitely get diksha but she when she came to my acharya she told me and my wife one thing she told me that sir i do not expect that i uh, that i will get diksha i don't have any expectation the only thing the only reason i am coming to your ashram acharya's ashram is to see the acharya is to see the yogi i don't have any other expectation i said this is th- this is what is needed you are a true aspirant you request for diksha she told me in tamil i translated to my acharya in hindi that she requesting diksha my acharya said i will give and my acharya gave diksha to her because my acharya understood that she is a shraddhavan she has been doing agnihotra for one year she has been doing understanding the pravachans i always you know make so many videos of translating my acharya's pravachans so she has been doing that and then she got diksha similarly one more person from tamil nadu like seven years back he also did the same thing after doing six months agnihotra he he came to my, our uh, acharya's ashram without understanding who is almighty god basics without reading my acharya's article without reading his books if you come to our uh, acharya's ashram you may not understand the value of acharya and after getting diksha you must uh, take a oath you must take a sankalp in your mind that if i get diksha i will practice diksha every day i will practice name jap of almighty god every day then come for diksha then request acharya if he gives it it's super good if he is not giving gives it if he is not giving it then try again then try again then try again definitely almighty god will help you thank you so much namaste om